your favorite morning show. We're going to be talking about World Safety Day, which falls on 28th of April. But in Ghana, we will be celebrating it on the 26th, which is tomorrow. And joining me in studio to discuss is Mr. Fred Ohine Mensa. He is the Acting Chief Inspector of Factories with the Department of Factories Inspectorate. And also Mr. Stephen Ankama Lomote. He is the Director for Tema Metro Office Factories Inspectorate Division. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. So safety and health and future of work. That's the theme for this year's World Safety Day. And talking about this theme is very important because in this particular year, we've had so many incidents where people, you know, have lost life in their line of duty at their workplaces, all because people are not putting in the right safety mechanisms. So let's talk about it. When we talk about factories inspectorate, why are you the people championing this celebration? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, the law, the Factories, Office and Shops Act, okay. the Department of Factories Inspectorate has been mandated mm. to ensure safety, health and welfare mm. at the workplace, okay. all workplaces. Okay. So the, that is the mandate of the department mm. under the Ministry of Employment and Labor Relations. Mm. So we conduct our normal routine inspections, we conduct hygiene monitoring, mm. we conduct accident investigations in all workplaces, mm. factories, offices. Um, sure. construction sites, shops, malls, filling stations, all workplaces. Okay. So this is the mandate given to the department to ensure that safety and health are adhered to at all workplaces. Right. That is why we are championing this course. But let me ask this question because from how you say it, this is mm -hmm. your regular or routine kind of work. So yeah. ideally everyone should have seen you at their workplace yeah, exactly. once in a while, but yeah. I don't think that's the case. And so I want to find out that you move into people's offices or shops only when there are incidents or accidents that have been reported to you on a routine basis year round. Yeah, on routine basis, we are around. Okay. We have the proactive inspection and the reactive inspection. Okay. That's when an accident has occurred. Right. But the proactive inspection are daily routine inspections, hmm. which inspectors go around to factories to inspect them. In fact, there is an itinerary for every inspector. But because our numbers are very few, mm -hmm. we, are not able to, we are not able to reach out to all factories okay. at the same time in the same year. That is why sometimes there is a shortfall. Right. But regularly we have, we have companies that we visit almost every day every day and uh, to ensure that health and safety standards are kept at the workplace. So there are some places that we've not been able to, maybe over the year, mm. exactly. But um, however, you know, subsequent years, we try as much as possible, mm. you know, to get to those industries. Nice. Mm. Mr. Ankama let me come to you mm. and doctor, ask please. that. Sorry, doctor. Mm. Okay, so I got the title wrong there. Um, is it that, I mean, in Ghana, maybe we're not seeing, like you said, you've got a challenge of numbers, mm -hmm. but also is it that when it comes to safety and the health of workers, we just are not concerned enough because probably people enter into their workplaces through dubious means rather than the proper channels. And so it's almost as if you're doing me a favor by keeping me here. And so if anything happens, I'll just take it as it is. So people don't push hard on the safety rules that should be ensured in their workplaces. Yeah, I th thank you. The critical thing is there should be a policy. Okay. And the policy is a roadmap. Mm. We don't have a national policy on safety. Right. So that's where we begin from. Okay. So when you talk about any management system, it starts with the policy. Mm. Then you come to planning, implementation, and that sort of thing. Right. We don't have the policy. But we have a law in place, okay. like the Factories, Offices, and Shops Act, mm. which we use okay. to visit the companies and to make sure that they have decent work environments. Mm. Now we have uh, multinational companies who mm. are competitive, mm. so you see everything safety there. Right. Then we have these the Chinese, locals. Indians and the locals mm. coming there and we need to visit them often right. to train them to mm. understand, like you are saying. Mm. They don't really understand. Mm -hmm. You give them a nose mask to cover the nose and mm. it is on the forehead and that sort of thing. You give them boots mm. and they use their boots for something else. Right. So that is the situation. So we keep on um, educating mm. and we keep on um, uh, organizing programs for right. them. 
to raise some form of awareness. In fact, that is the main essence of this celebration. It's mm. a campaign. Mm. So that people will see the magnitude of the problem right. so that we, we, we create some form of safety culture mm. in our country. Very well. So until we get to the end of the awareness creation where people were actually implementing it or people are doing the right things, my worry is also when it comes to the punishments. Because for how long will we keep educating you on how to do the right things? At some point, if we don't punish, it doesn't become deterrent enough. So when it comes to prosecution or punishment, Management, what forms do you take and is it is it effective yeah it is it okay. is you you, 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 you you'll be surprised here anytime we even you know uh, summon a company mm. by the time they even appear in court all those things that we ask them to do have been done right yeah so okay. it's very effective okay. right? because it grinds slowly mm. we need to be there gather evidence okay. that you were there on this day you, you saw these hazards, right. you wrote to the occupier, right. you gave him time to rectify mm. it, he didn't, you went there another time, maybe two or three, four times. Okay. When he's recalcitrant, that is then you can now bring the, the, the case to court, right. the magistrate court, and then the magistrate will also take you know, his, his, his stand. So mm. it's, it's effective, okay. it is effective, but because of the duration, mm. uh, we are not able to prosecute you know, so many within a year. Last year, we prosecuted about 20. Okay. Maybe if our numbers increase, mm. we'll continue doing the prosecution. And that is one of the key uh, uh, punishment that we mm. use. Mm. Very well. So moving on to talk about the celebration itself, mm. what has the factories in I just raise awareness. It's a big campaign for people to see the magnitude of the problem. Okay. Work is very important. Mm -hmm. We leave our homes eight hours, we are at work. Mm -hmm. So we expect that the workplaces will be without hazards, right. things that can cause injuries, incidents, and uh, fatalities mm -hmm. at the workplace. So we begin from here. That is a campaign. And tomorrow is the big day. We are bringing all the stakeholders, okay. all those who matter in safety. We we'll have some safety talks. We we'll have some form of interaction mm -hmm. and look at the way forward yeah. for Ghana. That's exactly what we are doing. But let me come back and ask: factories and spec. Are you happy with the you know results we're getting, or the improvements people are making as you go around, you know, trying to put things right over the years? Because certainly, when it comes to celebration, we need to celebrate some achievements. Have we achieved anything? Seriously, we okay. have. We've been in the, in the, in the he's been around for. 13 years. Okay. Okay. Just like me, he's just retiring. And uh, from the time we entered the service mm. up to now, we realized there have been a very dramatic improvement okay. in health and safety. It wasn't so. We, we've, we, those years, 20 years ago, we won't come to any studio to come and talk mm. about health and safety. Right. But now we have what we call management systems. Companies have now put in place management systems. Right. We've, we've gone a long way to, you know, to the extent that even Ghanaian companies, mm. Ghanaian indigenous companies, have employed safety officers. Mm. You see, so others are doing well, mm. but there are other small, small ones also <laughs> who are also polluting the whole, you know, environment. But we'll get on them you definitely. And you know, the government is also coming out with a new policy mm. and a new law. The occupational health and safety policy mm. and bill which has gone to cabinet there were a few reservations we are mm. putting it together tomorrow there will be a synopsis of this new policy and bill for all to know and to see what is in the bill yeah. in fact one of the critical thing is that every company where mm. they employ not less than 20 employees must employ a safety officer mm. and it's very critical mm. so in the absence of a factory inspector who who, who, who who check health and safety at the workplace right. you have your own you know somebody a safety officer who you know checks all these things mm. before a factory inspector okay, comes, comes in there. so um, we are moving forward we are moving forward and I believe that there, there, there's a clear indication that health and safety will go far in the beginning speed of explosions that is going on um, you'll be surprised that all the filling stations and the gas stations, over 600 across the country mm -hmm. has been inspected by engineers of years mm -hmm. to ascertain the the, the, the the veracity of these vessels mm -hmm. and we'll continue to do that these are some of the safety measures that we're putting in place in, in time past it wasn't so right. but now we, we are moving forward and i believe that when the bill comes mm -hmm. and the policy is is, is passed mm -hmm. we'll see a very big change 
in health and safety in this country. Very well. So let me find out from your inspectorate. If I want, I haven't seen you at my workplace before, mm -hmm. can I just request that you come over and inspect? Or what is the process through which we engage you? Yes, you can, you can come to our office. You can just call us. Okay. And we are ready to do our job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. We are and there so for you. My worry, again, is for the reactive inspections that you go on, because clearly if something happened in my workplace and I had to report, um, in Ghana we know that oftentimes you, you, know, you get fingers being pointed at you for being the one who reported our work, and so if you're not careful, you may lose your job. How best do you go about your duty so that such people are safe when they report? In fact, we don't disclose those things. Okay. In fact, per our law, um, there is an oath of secrecy in our okay. law. We, we don't have to you know, divulge such information. Yeah. Per the law, we are supposed to enter every workplace at any time okay. when we suspect that there is work going on. Right. So if if you if you don't want an inspector to enter your premises, we can prosecute you for that okay. per the law. So we can come at any time to inspect the place and to ensure that what may be the informant, the information given to us, um, okay. what actually is the information on the ground. Mm -hmm. So we will not divulge any name or any to any any uh, 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 um, occupier or, or employer, but we we'll come there as our normal routine inspection to inspect and to ascertain the fact that these hazards are it there exists. at the workplace, and they will take measures to to curtail those hazards. We'll Very well. Let me give you the opportunity to give a final word as we prepare to celebrate World Safety Day. What word do you have out there for employers and employees alike? Okay, for all those out there, um, safety is very important. And work plays a pivotal role in the lives of people. And uh, for eight hours, you are off for work. So make sure your work environment is safe. Mm -hmm. We want decent workplaces mm -hmm. and want to reduce occupational incidents and hazards to reasonably practicable levels. That's why we are raising this campaign. Very well. What about so we you, Mr. We also <laughs> want to say thank you to TV3 You're most and welcome. the various radio stations of TV3 that are giving us opportunity to, you know, add these our views. Mm -hmm. We also want to thank Vota River Authority, who are the title sponsors of this program, mm -hmm. and other sponsors who have also come on board, mm -hmm. just to ensure that workers in Ghana um, work in a safe work environment. Nice. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. So tomorrow, where's the function taking place? National Conference Center. National Conference. What time? By 8, we'll be, we By should be eight. registering. Very well. Mm -hmm. So everyone who is interested and wants to hear, well, these are stakeholders, so I'm sure everyone is part yes, and is yes, free yes. to be there. So I'm sure we are mm -hmm. all welcome there tomorrow because we will be celebrating World Safety Day under the theme Safety and Health and Future of work and like he disclosed which is very important to most employers and employees the fact that you've gone to reports doesn't mean you'll be giving out they'll just come there as usual make sure they've inspected to find out any hazards and also ascertain you know the complaint you've made and make sure that the place is safe for work because most of us spend a lot of hours at work and if this is the place you're spending almost all your time you need to make sure it is safe for you and on that note i have been speaking to mr fred ohene mensa he is acting chief inspector of factory Department of the Factories Inspectorate and also Dr. Stephen Ankamalomote. He is director for the Tema Metro Office Factories Inspectorate. We'll